Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for my information. I do the premium problems on Patreon and reach out to me on Discord to try and respond to everyone. Uh, it's pretty late. I just, I didn't make a video today and I usually do like five a day now. So I felt like if I didn't, then tomorrow I might just be lazy and fall off the wagon. So it's like eating healthy or any of those things. You just got to keep doing it. So I want to do at least one. Uh, this one I saw was so easy, so we'll just do this one. It's, like, unbelievably easy. Number of lines to write string. Um, we are to write the letters of a given string S from left to right into lines. Each line has a maximum width of 100 units. And if writing a letter would cause the width of the line to exceed 100 units, it is written on the next line. We are given an array width, widths, so we have widths a bunch of widths within an array, like this. And um, an array where width 0 is the width of A, width 1 is the width of B, and width 25 is the width of Z. So each index, its length 26, corresponds to the width of a specific letter. Okay. Uh, now answer two questions. How many lines have at least one character from S. And what is the width used by the last such line? Return your answer as an integer list of length 2. Okay, so we know one thing. We have an answer that is an integer width width of at least 2. So we can do that, and then we can return the result. Boom, That's that was easy. Okay, um... So how do we do this? So basically, each, we're given a string, and then we have a bunch of these widths. The current line width is 100. So basically, we have to loop through this string, check the array for the width of, you know, A, B, C, or whatever, all the way to Z, or depending on what the string is, check the length of width of B, uh, which is 10, C, which everything's 10 except for A. So we just check all these widths, and we're going to keep adding them until we reach 100. And then we have to keep track of the number of lines. So the number of lines will increment when we reach over 100. Um, and then, um, yeah, and then that's pretty much it. And then we uh, have to return the leftover amount too. Like, for example, in this case, uh, each character is worth 10, every single one. Um, you loop through the string, all letters have the same length of 10, so you can write 10 letters per line, right? 10 times 10 is 100. So you write 20 letters on two lines, and then you have six left over, so you return three lines, because it's two full, and then one with the third one has 60, so you return 60. Okay, there we go. So we'll keep track of num lines, and we're starting at line one, so we're going to set it to one. And then um, width, the current width we're at in the line, we'll just set to zero. We have to loop through the string. So we could do char c in uh, s dot two char array, just looping through casual. And then we will get the char width. So to get the char width, we just say widths of c minus a to get the index. We should know that from any uh, char counts problem we've done. We just take, look at, for example, if the character was A, we would do A minus A, that would give us index zero. We check in the widths, we get the correct amount width. Now all we have to do is, okay, if char width plus the width we keep track of, like the current width of the line, is greater than 100, well then we'll just increment the number of lines and we will set width back to zero. We set width back to zero instead of rolling it over to the next line because we're not allowed to put half the width at the end of the line and half at the next line. If it goes over it all, it has to all roll over to the next line. Uh, and then we just say width is equal to char width, right? Rolls over to the next line. And then that's it. So then you just fill up the array at the end. So you just say uh, result of zero is equal to num lines and then result of one is equal to whatever width was left over. Call the variables whatever you want. I just had to do a problem before I went to bed. What the heck is going on here?
Did I mess this up? Plus equals. I'm sorry. I am sorry. That is my bad. Yeah, you have to add it on to the width. You don't just set it to the char width. I mean, that would make, you know, no sense there. So that was uh, my bad, because then each iteration, it would have just set width to char width. So, um, you know, but always make an error, even on the easiest problems. Uh, you'll see that. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I might do another one right now. I'm kind of getting in the mood. So appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Very easy.